back to my channel. I hope you guys have been well. Today I am doing a very exciting video for me. I'm doing my 2020 Uniqlo haul video, as well as giving you an update of what I consider to be the best Uniqlo pieces that are worth, worth the money, worth the investment, and space in your wardrobe. What I have behind me on the rail is definitely not what I've purchased just this year. It's actually my entire Uniqlo collection, more or less, as well as a couple of sweaters which I have on the bed. For anyone who's watched my past Uniqlo videos, you'll know that I'm a huge fan of the brand. I've been wearing Uniqlo basics for about five to six years, I want to say. And for me, they're just always a brand where for the price, I feel like you can look very elevated. They do such beautiful styles. And I have a special place in my heart for their limited edition collections, which I feel like are always just that little bit better in quality than their regular line. This video is going to be split into two parts. So in part one, I'm going to talk about the new in pieces um, from this year. And then in part two, I'm going back to what I reviewed last year and letting you know whether I would still recommend them, whether I still love them, and giving you a Uniqlo overview of the best items. Firstly, I have three new t-shirt editions, which is a lot, but I think almost all of my t-shirts are from Uniqlo. And given that this has been a very casual year, I have been living in t-shirts a lot more than I would normally have. I fell in love with these t-shirts um, in partnership with JW Anderson, and I ended up getting two of them. I think they are pretty much the same style. This one I actually took out of my laundry basket to show you, but this definitely needs a wash. It's got some makeup on the on the um, neckline. This is a gorgeous striped t-shirt in a cotton linen blend. It has a really lovely like linen texture to it, which I really like. Not to mention that the stripes are just really cute and make this feel a little bit more special than your classic white tee. It's got a pocket on the chest and I also like the fit of it. It's not too tight, not too loose, and it's just a great basic option. I've also got that same t-shirt in a cream colorway. And I'm honestly obsessed with this because of that linen fabric composition. It's got this really lovely texture that you can see, which I feel like really elevates it and makes it feel a lot more expensive and a lot more luxurious. These t-shirts kind of bring together what I think Uniqlo does the best of. Firstly, their t-shirts and secondly, their partnerships. And I just feel like these two pieces really bring that all together and they're just amazing basics for the price. This next t-shirt is very similar, except that it's a long sleeve t-shirt and it is a cotton material. So this is a Uniqlo partnership with Innocilla Frissange. It's a grey t-shirt, but you've got green and white stripes, which I feel like looked really fresh. I don't see this print very often. And it's just such an effortless piece to like tuck into shorts in the summer, or tuck into jeans and wear a coat over the top in the winter. It is a very oversized fit on me. I would normally be an extra small, I don't think they had it in my size. So I went up a size for a slightly more oversized, boxier fit. This is the last piece I got from the JW Anderson collection and probably one of my favourite blouses lately. Um, if you guys are based in Australia, FYI, a lot of these JW Anderson pieces are still in stock. Our collections come out six months later than the US and the rest of the world, obviously because we've got the different seasons. Um, so this collection has just actually launched not too long ago in Australia, so it's still in store. This one is a viscose and linen blend blouse. It's got this lovely gather on the neckline, which I find quite flattering. And then it's just got a little tie at the front that you can tie into a bow. I feel like this black blouse looks so much more expensive than what it was. Honestly, this is the kind of piece that it could be from like a slightly more contemporary designer and I would believe it because it just feels really luxurious to the touch. It drapes really nicely when you wear it, and I just think this piece is gorgeous. The next item is this Uniqlo U sweater, and this item was actually in the men's collection, and I decided to pick this up in the extra extra small. So firstly, um, this is what the sweater looks like. If you guys can kind of tell, it is more of a boxy cut. I feel like the way the arms are shaped, it's more of a masculine style, rather than the way some women's sweaters are cut. I really like the fact that it's got some ribbing on the neckline as well as the sleeve and it's also in this like really gorgeous warm brown shade which I also think is really pretty. This sweater is 100% wool and it's currently going for 20 US dollars which I think is a pretty great price and I feel like the feel of this sweater as well as the quality of it is actually nicer than Uniqlo's classic lambswool sweaters 
Um, these are their 100% lambs wool sweaters that come out every single winter at Uniqlo and this does feel like a much more premium option than this one. They still had this in a lot of different sizes. I'm an extra small in women's and I was an extra extra small here so I really just went one size down and it fits me well enough. The next item I have to share is a t-shirt dress. I love t-shirt dresses because I just find them so versatile. I often throw an oversized blazer, put on some heels and wear them for work actually. Um, otherwise, you can definitely dress them down with some sandals for a summer day. And they're just, they're just such a blank canvas, so many things you can do with them. But as I said with Uniqlo's cotton, these are super soft, very comfortable. I find that the Uniqlo dress fits are actually quite nice. I love the midi length, so these are perfect and I really just can't fault these dresses. The feeling of this t-shirt dress is really silky. Um, even though it's just a cotton material, it does have a really nice smooth finish to it. Very comparable to the Uniqlo U t-shirts, if you guys are familiar with that. I feel like this dress is a really good example of a basic that can really be styled to look a lot more expensive and a lot more luxe than what it is. We have a pair of linen trousers. As I said, linen is one of my favourite things. I feel like Uniqlo does do it quite well, um, especially at the price point. And I thought these would be really great for the summertime here in Australia. I feel like they're the perfect amount of like slouchiness to make it look casual, but it's still fairly like tapered on the leg um, to not be like too wide legged or like a clot. So love the fit of these. I feel like they look really good. And because they are linen trousers, you're going to get some wrinkles in it. It's not going to look perfectly pressed, but that is just the way linen is. And then the very last item I purchased is a sweatshirt. Um, surprise, surprise for 2020. So this is in a really pretty light blue color. I won't lie, I've pretty much destroyed this. I feel like I've gotten a ton of paint on this. Um, and you know what, I didn't even paint in this sweatshirt. I wear this so much, I must have like put it on while there was paint on my skin or something. Um, but anyway, it's got a bit of paint on it, but that's okay because I wear it at home anyway. I don't have a ton to say about this. It is just a sweatshirt. It has a very nice oversized boxy fit. It is comfortable. I wouldn't say it's the softest I've seen, but I mean, it is nice enough. I also wanted to show you my most recent purchase, which I've actually decided to return. But it is a linen blend cardigan. It's really pretty. It's in a nice beige color and in the summertime here in Australia, I do always like to have a cardigan on hand. Just because you never know if you're going to go into aircon and it's like super super cold. So I thought this would be a good option for that. But it's honestly just one of those pieces where I'm not sure how I would style it. I'll just pop it on for you to see. It's a slightly longer length. It kind of reaches me like mid thigh. Which is just an awkward length for me to style. I feel like I wouldn't really wear it with a lot of my dresses because... Like the shape from the back I don't really like. Um, I could wear like skinny jeans and things like that, but I want it for the summertime. So it's just one of those pieces where I'm not sure how to style, so I think I will be sending it back. So in part two now, I'm going to go over some of the things from last year that I love and talk about my overall favourites from the brand. In last year's haul, I talked a lot about their jeans. These white, wide-legged Uniqlo jeans got a ridiculous amount of love from me for the first six months of this year. I think I wore these like three to like five times a week, they were pretty much always on me. And it's just because they've got a lot of stretch to them. So if you're wearing them at home, if you're sitting down for work all day, it does not feel like a jean. I do really like the shape of these as well. I am a little bit of a sucker for anything that is like wide-legged. Um, I just love, love the way they look. And this one is also a cropped length. I would say this is definitely a trouser that's better for petite girls um, because otherwise, I feel like it might be a little bit too short. It's definitely something to keep in mind. If you're a taller, my next pair of pants might work a bit better. But this particular style, I think, is better for petite girls who are around my height, which is like 160 centimeters. So after featuring it in last year's haul video and after a year of owning these trousers or these jeans, I can still wholeheartedly recommend them. I think they are a great buy. This next pair of jeans are from the Uniqlo U collection. But I almost want to say they're like a permanent piece. 
in the Uniqlo U collection because they're around all the time. I purchased these a year ago and they're still on the side, they're still on the US side and I think I've seen them in store in Australia as well. With these ones, I did get a little bit of length taken off the bottom. Actually, got quite a bit of length taken off the bottom at Uniqlo because they do the free alteration service if your trousers are over in Australia, it's $29.95 I believe. So the biggest difference between this jean and their classic line is that this is quite a rigid denim and it doesn't have stretch to it. Whereas the white pair of jeans I just showed are a very stretchy pair of jeans. This feels like it's a bit nicer in quality, it feels rigid like it's meant to last. And there's a lot of love about this pair of jeans. Yesterday I tried it on again with some of my outfits and I kind of fell in love. But yeah, I just haven't had a chance to wear them as much as the other pair because these are not jeans I'll sit around at home in. They're definitely like a going out jean where I want to look good, I want to look put together instead of like a loungy pair of jeans. I love styling them with very fitted like bodysuits or like tank tops. Something that's super fitted on top um, to kind of really play around with silhouettes and make the wide leg shape look flattering. Both denim options I can still very much recommend. Moving on to the sweaters, which I feel like is more relevant for those of you currently in the Northern Hemisphere. We have four Uniqlo knits and we basically have one of every line. We have one from their lambswool range, we have a merino knit, we have a cotton knit and then a cashmere knit. Starting with the 100% lambswool knit, I have to say, um, over the years, I've tried a lot of these, especially back at uni, I felt like these were my go-to sweaters because, you know, they were chunky enough to keep me warm, they didn't cost an arm and a leg, and they were just kind of available in a wide range of styles. So at one point I had like a cardigan version, and now I have this scoop neck. After wearing them usually for about a year or two, I do start to feel like they kind of lose their shape or they bobble, or well, there's always something that goes wrong. I had one particular sweater get a hole in the sleeve for some reason, and I don't know if that was because I did something, or like if I rubbed against it a lot, or if that was just like the quality of the sweater, but something always happens to them, which obviously is not great. So I don't really think I can fully recommend to you guys the Lamb's Wool collection from their classic range. This one, because it's not in their classic line, does feel much nicer. I do also have to say, all of their wool sweaters, I can't say are the softest. Um, so if you have any wool sensitivities, I would definitely think twice about purchasing these. Even this one is not necessarily the softest. But it just looks like it's a lot nicer in quality. When you look at the finer details, it does look a lot better, a lot more premium than the lamp wool. So next up we have these really lightweight merino knits. These are amazing layering pieces in the winter. I often wear these inside, put a sweater over the top and then a coat. These are really comfortable for me in terms of wearing them on my bare skin. I don't have sensitive skin, but I've never had an issue with these like touching my skin or causing any irritation. I feel like the merino wool sweaters are priced really well considering they're 100% merino wool and not a blend. And these sweaters I can definitely recommend. I think they're great layering pieces, they're very comfortable, they're a good price point, and yeah, it kind of ticks all the boxes. This is another piece I featured in my 2019 Uniqlo haul, and this is still a piece that I wear quite a lot of. Whenever I want a sweater and I don't want to be too careful with it, this is what I go for. Because it's a cotton knit, I do just kind of throw it into the washing machine, and I haven't had too much of an issue with these at all. They're just very low maintenance because of that cotton material. Based off my experience with this knit and how well it's worn, how much I've worn it and how great it looks, I do feel like I can recommend the cotton knits at Uniqlo. But the main reason why I like these is because they do wash and they last well. They look a lot better than the wool knits after a year of having it. Um, so that's why they kind of get the thumbs up from me. I have saved my favourite for last and that is the Uniqlo cashmere knits. So my particular version has a turtleneck, but they do also do like a scoop neck, a v-neck, a cardigan version, and they also have it in a range of colours. I feel like the quality of these are amazing. I've had this one for about 3 or 4 years at this point, I've had it for a long time, and I still feel like the quality of it is perfect. In the winter time, I reach for these a lot. These are not necessarily pieces I wear alone, I kind of layer them most of the time, either inside coats or inside other sweaters um, for a cozier, wintery look. 
This feels really nice on my bare skin. I don't ever feel like this is itchy at all. And yeah, this is another one of those pieces that just ticks all the boxes. I think it's a pretty reasonable price for 100% cashmere. This is definitely my sweater favourite. It's obviously the most premium option, but it is also the option that I've had the longest and probably worn the most. I do feel like if I could only pick one or two sweaters, it would be the slightly more premium ones. So definitely the ones that are 100% merino wool, which, you know, just really great layering pieces, as well as the cashmere ones. These two are lovely, but I feel like I could do without them, and this one is just a bit, like, meh. In last year's video, I talked about these two white t-shirts, and I feel like white t-shirts are not necessarily things that I reach for all the time when I'm going out, but because we spent so much time indoors, I actually got a lot of wear from these pieces. So this waffle knit t-shirt is holding up really well. Despite it being washed quite a lot um, and being worn quite a lot, this still looks like it's in perfect condition. And then I feel like one of my biggest Uniqlo recommendations from last year are these Uniqlo U t-shirts. I mentioned in that video to size up and I definitely still agree. I'm normally an extra small and I went for a medium and I actually think the medium fits me like really really well. So definitely go up one or two sizes if you want a slightly less fitted look. The reason why I love this t-shirt is that it's really a very nice and thick cotton. It kind of has a little bit of structure to it because of that. It's not like a flimsy thin cotton that sticks on you. Um, it's got a really nice shape to it. If you prefer a slightly slinkier, thinner t-shirt um, that tucks in really well, then this is probably not for you. But if you like a more substantial, thicker cotton t-shirt, this is an amazing pick. I really just can't fault these at all. Uniqlo t-shirts definitely get a glowing review from me. My boyfriend has had his Uniqlo t-shirts for years I feel like. And he's obviously not a fashion blogger so he just basically wears the same few t-shirts on very high rotation over, over and over again. And even his t-shirts has lasted years. This t-shirt dress is another item I've had for around a year. I can't remember if I mentioned it in that last video or if I purchased this slightly after but I've had this for about a year now, and I've worn it in like a range of different occasions. This looks amazing for work, you might not think so because it's just like a t-shirt kind of a dress, but it looks amazing, it's slightly more fitted, I feel like with an oversized blazer, I just feel really comfortable and really like confident in this, um, which is great. This is amazing and I think it is probably the fourth recommendation I have from Uniqlo that is a bit of a must for me. So the main reasons I love this is that they look very luxurious without having to spend a fortune on a dress. I feel like they're a blank canvas that can be styled in a number of ways. So as I said, I've worn these to work and I've also worn these casually and I think it works for both. They're also a piece I think work really well right now because they are kind of also a bit like a lounge dress. You can sit around all day at home in them and also wear them to run some errands. This is my fourth and last recommendation and it has got to be one of my favourite items ever from the brand. I feel like that was a really long video and a lot to get through but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love to talk about Uniqlo because I think they're amazing quality um, especially for a slightly more accessible kind of brand. If you guys want to see any other Uniqlo related content, let me know down below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below and subscribe if you aren't already. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye bye.